Welcome to Season 7, The NGO Grit. This season, Just Talk Therapy podcast brings you the stories of some amazing, passionate people who dedicated their time, money, energy, etc. selflessly just for a cause. They held humanity first and thus made a difference in the society in their own ways. Today, we have a very passionate guest with us, Ms. Shipra Gandhi. Welcome to the show, ma'am. Thank you so much. And thanks for your time. If you could just tell our listeners about you, yourself, and the work that you are doing. Definitely. I would love to. Uh, okay. My name is Shipra Gandhi, and I am from Hyderabad. Basically, by profession, I'm a naturopath, and by passion, I spread happiness. Basically, spreading happiness is not a registered NGO, but just works like one. We are almost into everything, like distributing food to the needy. We go to dist- different places and distribute food. We help in educating children. We help in orphan weddings, sponsor surgeries. We are into medicines, wheelchairs, and much, much more. Basically, we jump into the places where there is requirement. So this is about me and spreading happiness. So this is something new, like uh, you actually participate or contribute in orphan wedding yes like for example recently in pune we -hmm. had organized about nine weddings together unfortunately i couldn't go there because of my son's uh, board exams but yes i was a very active part of it and we had arranged all the bridal costumes of uh, these girls they were all nine orphans wherein uh, they are they, they were just happily married on 15th of May. Yeah. So I'm sure you have spread happiness in their lives by your contribution. Uh, by spreading happiness in their <laughs> lives, automatically I feel God is spreading happiness in my life. It gives Absolutely. me so much of joy that I cannot even express it how I feel doing all these things. Your voice is expressing way beyond what any words can articulate. <laughs> Thank you so much. means a lot. Great work. And in this journey, what else do you do and how do you connect with people? Basically, I am actually connected with many other teams, not only in Hyderabad, but by God's grace, all across India. So we are connected to different kind of uh, registered NGOs and teams like Robin Odami, Neki Kapitara. We are connected to Indo-American Cancer Hospital, Kinir, which works for transgenders. So we are connected to many places and uh, we try to arrange funds for them. Not only this, we also need the help of their volunteers who are more than a family to me because I need many volunteers. In fact, I do not call them volunteers. I call them my family, my team. So when I am short of and when I am short of my team, my volunteers, I request them for help. And by God's grace, they are just there on a phone call, on a message. So it becomes very easy to connect to the needy people as well as it becomes very easy to get requirements because these people are always there to check on the requirements as in how genuine they are. Absolutely. And that's so important also. Because you're handling other people's genuine efforts into facilitating the requirement part. This is one of the most important things because, see, everyone is ready to help everyone. But I feel that the need should be genuine. Then only you feel happy. And yes, when you're spending money, you would always like to do it the right ways and not just bus jai or kardia. And later you feel very bad if you get to know it was not genuine. So in this journey, did you feel any tough moments? By God's grace, I haven't faced so-called tough moments in my life. Life has been very, very beautiful and very kind to me. And I'm really thankful for that. Uh, In fact, I can say I, before I need, I get what I want and more than how much I need. So I am a blessed child of God. But yes, I can say I have faced a few challenges in life. Mm -hmm. And how did you cope? It was again God's grace. Like at times, what happens is I would like to help that person, but I get stuck up. I'm in two minds. This is genuine or no. 
and at times i am not able to help that person because i am not able to reach that person for example if someone needs me in delhi i cannot run and go to delhi because i have a family and being a female i have my own responsibilities my own priorities but again thankfully today by god's grace we have a wonderful team as i already told you we have wonderful people who help me to reach the needy and genuinely help the needy in fact most of the challenges were faced during covid times where trust me 24 hours were too too less to fulfill requirements because oh. because during that time we would arrange plasma we would arrange oxygen beds and all these things especially during the second wave when things were very difficult i was actually the moderator of covid-19 plasma donors team so that's it wonderful was, it must have been really very demanding it was very 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 hectic i couldn't sleep more than 4 to 5 hours and that 4 to 5 hours also i was just uh i mean sleeping also i was just active that i have to do this i have to do that in fact i had a separate number which i used to use for this and uh in the night when i used to put it silent for 4 to 5 hours i had about 150 to 200 missed calls just in 3 to 4 hours and i really cannot forget how my entire family including my children who are who are small they also used to help me so much because they knew that i alone couldn't handle all those things with these things were really memorable in my life they really taught a lot to me as well as my family so thank you on behalf of everyone to you and to your entire team and family for being there for the needy at that point of time thank you so much hina ji but i really feel karma comes back to us what we do we get that back and i really face that in life when i see others and when i feel so blessed seeing my own life i always feel i'm the most blessed child of god that's beautiful and uh, pray that it remains the same forever and that you are blessing so many other families in your own ways thank you so much and i wish the same for you thank you so much any unique or memorable moment if you can just share with our listeners uh actually each experience in my journey of spreading happiness is very very memorable to me because each experience is unique but a few moments to talk about are very close to my heart like for example these days we are providing lots and lots of wheelchairs to the people uh to here it is just a wheelchair ki ha theek hai wheelchair le liye aur de diya but when we give it when we see from our own eyes how these people crawling on the ground just we help them to get up and when they sit on the wheelchairs they just feel no less than kings and queens because oh. from the ground they directly reach the chairs correct it's just like a sehasan to them so each wheelchair when we help them with it becomes really memorable serving food is a very small thing but when we hear people saying madam we do not eat food since two days thank you so much and the way they eat food that is so heart touching that becomes memorable a few other memorable moments are helping people with surgeries we are into a lot of surgeries like cancer related surgeries or let it be cataract surgeries i cannot forget a small girl with a few uh, of a few months had a hole in her heart and thank you to god's grace we could actually help her and today she's one and a half year and she's so active and her parents do not forget to send me a picture every 15 to 20 days just as a gesture of thankfulness they they feel so that's, happy that yeah that's so heartwarming help. absolutely so we feel that it is god who is gifting them life but we are just the mediators and we are just trying to absolutely take it forward yes in fact my list would never end i would <laughs> only say life is very beautiful let's make it even more beautiful by spreading more and more happiness in others lives how did you enter into this uh, sector of helping and all uh in fact i again entered through a orphan wedding only this wedding was really a life changer in my life uh one of my known friend asked me for a help for a orphan wedding okay and 
have everyone i was also ha- very excited and ready to do it but i had one question i just told her i want to visit that orphanage once and then do it and on visiting that orphanage i felt the inner joy i really felt connected to all those girls there were quite many girls there and when i asked them they said they wanted me to sponsor the bridal costume and get mehndi applied on the bride's hand so immediately i agreed to it but when i came home i just want i was just remembering those little little girls and i called them requesting that i want to do a mehndi ki raat for this girl since you've given me the mehndi opportunity let us have a small mehndi ki raat and wow that we, must be like nothing it was a cinderella um, story for them it was it was actually a gay, life change of moment for me and you won't believe we organized a mehndi ki raat we had a yellow theme most of us were wearing yellow and when i was going to these girls seeing their mehndi almost each girl had shipra didi that's my name shipra didi written with mehndi on her hand and that just touched me so much wow that i, I felt, can feel the goosebumps right now i also Listening have goosebumps when i'm talking about it yeah, it's yes. so beautiful so that was the moment that inspired me to do more and more for people who genuinely need help and in fact that's how it began absolutely so your message to the youth will be because since you relate to your own contribution first as a volunteer to go and visit the place and then you know do what you were supposed to do absolutely it is very important once we go to the place we really get connected and so we are very confident of what is happening rather than believing on the third person and just going on doing something okay any message ma'am to the younger generation younger generation yes i would only like to say one thing it's not important that if you want to spread happiness spread spend thousands and thousands of rupees or you have to just spend your entire savings uh, i'll give you a very small beautiful example like we all have maids working with us we have teachers etc etc we do blanket drives and just a very small thing that my maids could do is they just get together three to four maids they just tell me amma we would like to contribute one blanket and can you guess what is the cost of each blanket it's just 100 rupees can you believe these people who are struggling to survive for their own selves are coming together and spreading happiness in other people's lives so it need not be big it can be as much as you can do but at least jitna kar sakte hain utna to hum kare let's make a change let's make a difference that's such inspirational because yes as you said the life is really very tough especially the maids and all they go through a lot and yet they thought about others that's a very beautiful gesture and we need to learn and i would suggest parents should inculcate the habit of giving to the charity you know from a very young age they can keep a box aside like a gulla can all for the charity and as you said two three maids got together and collected and contributed in their capacity so the children can actually collect and donate it wherever they are comfortable with absolutely true and that's a very uh, very good point that you have shared that you know you know we be... also yeah. i'm sorry no 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 please say yeah we also encourage one more thing like we have small small parties at home outside and all again if they are not able to spend the least they can do is the unused leftover food they can just pack it and take it and distribute it on the road sides because see food is not to be thrown in the dustbins it is for someone to fill their stomach so this is also a very good way of spreading happiness just collect the unused fresh food and try and distribute it to people you shall earn so many blessings whereas aap wo bacha hua jhoota karke kachre mein dalenge to aapko kuch bhi nahi milega that is so true so it's like to all of us take small portions as much as we can consume and not take a bigger portion on a plate and waste it so so that whatever is left over can be distributed as ma'am has said 
and that is such a relevant relatable point oh yeah you filling so many tummies rather than filling the garbage bins so that is that really true. a great thing thank you ma'am for such useful tips and i'm sure now like we all can gear up to save as much as we can so as to spread the happiness from it in others life thank you so much would be eagerly looking forward in fact if i have spread if i am able to spread happiness through this to a few lives also i would feel that it was simply amazing it was just grace again definitely it will be more than few lives i am sure and happiness you don't need to do it in very big ways you don't need to host weddings or you don't need to just sponsor surgeries a small thing just make someone smile if you see someone on the road has fallen down just give them your hand just pick them up just give them a glass of water and trust me that would make your day just small little gestures are enough to make your life worthwhile that's a very apt reminder in this hectic era that everyone is living wherein everyone is so so busy and in themselves so just looking around and doing something for others the way you had said just to give a glass of water it means a lot it does and trust me we forget but those people remember it always a very small example i give is i have uh, biscuits and water in my car always okay. so when people come i try to give them one packet of biscuit and water see to us it's a very small thing but on these signals near my house people have started recognizing me and they started recognizing my car as biscuit wali gaadi and when i don't give them anything <laughs> they ask me amma biscuit nahi hai <laughs> if i give them only biscuit they will ask me amma pani nahi lae but they have literally started recognizing so for us it's too small but for them it it really means a lot especially during these summers i would request everyone to to give the packets of water carry water with you just try to give them water and that itself would make you feel so good very true and it is really hot this year absolutely it's too hot we sitting in the houses in air conditioned air conditions feel so suffocated so we can imagine these people who are on the roads all the time so how does your volunteer and everyone contribute like do you have any like is it in all the cities and all you did mention that uh, you are connected with other registered ngos and hopefully you will also get registered in due course of time but you are doing way ahead it's all god's grace and yes our volunteers are throughout india not only throughout hyderabad they are throughout india and they are very helpful they are my support system without them i cannot do anything i cannot reach anywhere so if an, anyone wants to connect with you and would like to you know give their time or be of any help how should they connect with you if you can share your social media link definitely i could share my email address okay so they could definitely send me an email i'm very active on email i would definitely uh, connect back to them so my email address is shipra.gandhi that is s h i p r a dot g a n d h i 83 at gmail.com okay so this is to all the listeners if you feel and uh, relate to what ma'am is doing and you want to be a part of it in your own ways as she said not like you no know, nothing big is to be done but small gestures yes so do connect with her on her email id and i am sure you will be able to help someone somewhere definitely i would be looking forward for people who would love to spread happiness just a humble request you could just write spreading happiness in the subject so that i am more quicker in responding to that because spreading happiness is actually my life more than my life so seeing that word spreading happiness i tend to reply quickly okay so please uh, do highlight spreading happiness as in your subject matter and send an email to her and otherwise also you can connect with her on her social media links which i will be sharing with the post so ma'am before we end uh, is there anything that you would like to share with us 
I would just like to say one thing that it is not important that to spread happiness or to help others, you cannot give time to your family or you cannot give time to your own friend circle. No. Initially, when I started, my husband used to force me, let's go to an orphanage, let's go to help people. And it was not at all in me. People ask me, was it my dream? Frankly, it was not at all a dream. In fact, I didn't even dream that I would do this. But after visiting these people a few times, this has become so much addictive that I love to spend time with them. And it's become the other way around. I just drag my husband now taking him. And just one thing, just spend some time with them. You need not contribute. You need not uh, take something. Just do meet a bowl. And it would give happiness to both the lives. One is you and one is the other person who you're spending time with. Absolutely. Yeah. spreading happiness. This is so very true. And uh, you are doing a great job. Hats off to you and everyone connected with you and the other NGOs that you are connected with. It is like a very difficult thing initially and uh, the impact is very powerful. Absolutely. A very big thank you for all your good wishes and all your encouragement. And yes, it is indeed very difficult to begin with because initially I actually didn't know where to begin with, how to go about. We just started with 10 food packets a day, Inaji. And today, by God's grace, we are distributing 400 to 500 hygienically packed uh, wow. uh, yes, food, which goes to different places, not one single place. Every day we try to cover a different place. Let it be an orphanage, outside hospital, roadside, slums. So literally people wait for uh, our cars. Cars that we have also contributed uh, vans by the name of Spreading Happiness. We've also contributed ambulance. So these vans, they call it Khane ki gaadi. When these vans go in, <laughs> in their slums, they just say, Khane ka gaadi a gaya, Khane ka gaadi a gaya. And when we listen to it, it, it just like, it feels very good. That yes, we have come here, so we are just able to do something good. And I only feel one thing that tomorrow when I go, when I meet my Babaji, I would be able to say that, yes, Baba, I have done something and come. That, that's what makes me feel happy about so you have met the purpose of your life. I am trying to, and there's much, much, much to do. I wouldn't deny that fact, but then guess the whatever foundation you are laying down for others to follow, that is very beautiful. And it's good it's, that you even, uh, you know, just to continue, it's good that you share that, yes, you started off small, like only with 10 packets. And then you went ahead and you people connected and that's how it builds up. That is a lot of encouragement. Yes, it's just a beginning. Still, it's just a beginning. Long, long way to go. All the best for that journey of yours. May you spread happiness in everyone's life you touch. Thank you so much, dear. Let's all together spread happiness in so many more lives because I alone can't do as much as we all can together do. Absolutely. That's the saying goes, united we stand, divided we fall. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you. And it was lovely listening to you. I am just smiling from one year to the other year, thinking about how much happy those kids were to see your car when you mentioned Absolutely. It is a great feeling and I feel this happiness every single day. It's again a God's grace. But yes, I would wish that each and everyone feels this happiness. It is just beyond words can express. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am, for being here and sharing your journey and experience. It means a lot, definitely. Same here, Inaji. Thank you so much for sparing your valuable time and giving me this opportunity to actually speak about our life of spreading happiness. Thank you. Take care and keep doing the good work. Thank you so much, dear. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye-bye. This is Mrs. Shipra Gandhi. 
with her vibrant self and her NGO spreading happiness. Her inclination to help others surfaced and consolidated into such a beautiful, simple concept of helping others. We listen that how she shared the sheer joy of helping others has so much power that it can be the source of happiness for self and others. Do connect with her on her email ID or through her social media links if there is a spark within you which can rekindle others' lives. Her vision is to spread happiness in every way possible so that together with her team, they could ease the lives of needy people. With that valuable point, I would like to suggest that do please go through her social media links and do your bit. On that note, I end today's episode. See you next week, same time, with another guest and their inspirational story. Till then, take care and be safe. Bye.